Regression analysis, its concept, its interpretation, and how to report regression analysis. Now the concept of regression. Regression technique is used to assess the strength of relationship between one dependent and one independent variable. It helps in predicting the dependent variable from one or more independent variables. Regression analysis helps in predicting how much variance, how much change is being accounted in a single response that is your dependent variable by one or more than one variables. This session will look into two kinds of regression, bivariate regression and multiple regression. So what is bivariate regression? Bivariate regression is similar to bivariate correlation because both are designed for situation in which there are just two variables. Whereas multiple regression is on the other hand is for cases where there are three or more variables. One of them is dependent variable while the others are independent variable. Now there are a few differences in correlation and regression analysis. Let's look at those differences. The purpose of technique. In correlation, the purpose is just establishing relationship between the two variables. However, in regression, we are looking in prediction or explanation of the dependent variable based on a number of independent variable or variables. Now, there is no label attached in correlation. There is no independent or dependent variable. Whereas in regression, there is a clear distinction of what your dependent variable is and what are your independent variables. The inferential test in correlation is your correlation coefficient, which tells you about the strength of relationship between the variables. Whereas in regression, you've got your regression coefficient, you have got the, your intercept, you have got your t statistics, you, are, you, you may also look into the change in regression coefficient based on multiple variables that are added into the regression equation. Now, following are a few scenarios in which one could use regression analysis. For instance, the marketing manager wants to know if price reduction has any effect on increasing sales. The marketing manager wants to know if sales is dependent on other factors like multiple factors like advertising or the, the money spent on advertising, the number of products introduced by the company, the number of sales personnel. Now there are three factors that might influence the sales. The HR department wants to predict the efficiency of management trainees based on their academic performance, leadership abilities and IQ level. Again, there is one dependent variable and multiple independent variables. A social activist wants to know if increasing female literacy has any impact on increasing the age of marriage of a girl child. Now, there is one independent and one dependent variable. And finally, how much variance or how much change in life satisfaction scores can be explained by the following set of variables. So there is one dependent variable which is life satisfaction and then you've got self-esteem, optimism and perceived control as your independent variable. And we want to check which of these variables is a better predictor of life satisfaction. Is it self-esteem? Is it optimism? Or is it perceived control? Now bivariate regression, as we noted, it is one dependent and one independent variable. So there are only two variables involved. So the independent variable explains the variance or change in the dependent variable. The purpose of this kind of regression can either be prediction or explanation. However, bivariate regression is most frequently used to see how well scores on the dependent variable can be predicted from the data on the independent variable. So regression is a sort of prediction technique, explaining the change in the dependent variable based on the independent variable. Regression analysis is used to predict the values of dependent variable given the values of one or more independent variables by calculating a regression equation. So you might come across a, this regression equation. Now what does this mean? For instance, a marketing manager would like to predict if variation in sales or change in sales can be explained in terms of variation in advertising expenditure. So whether advertising budget or change in advertising budget brought, brings about any change in the sales. So how do you express this in form of a regression equation? This is how you express it. Where B0 is your regression constant. 
This means that what if your advertising budget is zero? Still you will be making some sales. So what are those sales? This B0. This is your regression constant. B1 is the beta coefficient. How much change would you bring or is the, how much change will there be if there is one unit change in advertising budget? So this is your beta 1. Advertising budget is the value or amount of advertising budget where E represents error terms. This simply speaking accounts for all the other factors that may cause change or variance in the dependent variable. There could be other factors that could affect sales. So what are those factors which are not accounted by or for in this equation? So we represent them through E. Now there are a few, few important terms that one should understand when uh, conducting regression analysis. One is regression coefficient. So regression coefficient is a measure of how strongly IV, also known as predictor variable, predicts the DV. It's the weight of impact. Now there are two types of regression coefficient that we normally see in the regression analysis. One is an unstandardized coefficient and it's, it is used in the equation as coefficient of different IVs along with the constant term, the equation we just saw. The standardized coefficient is however measured in standard deviations. If there is just one IV to predict one DV, the beta obtained would be the same as the correlation between the DV and the IV. So this is the difference between these two coefficients. Another important thing that you will see in the results is R value, R square value and then adjusted R square. Regression analysis will provide you with two R values, a simple R value that represents the correlation between observed values and the predicted values. It is based on the regression equation plane. The other R values is referred to as R square, which is the square of the R, which is the correlation coefficient. And it is the square of R and gives the proportion of variance, how much change in the dependent variable can be accounted by the independent variables. So R square is how much change or variance in the dependent variable can be accounted by the independent variables. So R square is used to find out how well the IVs are able to predict the DV. However, the R square value tends to be a bit inflated when the number of IVs is more or when the number of cases is large. The, R, the adjusted R square takes this into account. So you, when, when you've got, when the number of IVs is more and when the number of cases is large, you might have a higher R square value. In order to solve this issue, you can take into account the adjusted R square value. Now, for example, R square value of 0 0.70 would mean that IVs in the model can predict 70% of the variance in the DV. So 70% change in the dependent variable can be accounted by these 3, 4 or 5 or how many uh, IVs you've got in your equation. Moving on, what is multiple regression? As you said, bivariate regression means that there is one independent and one dependent variable. Multiple regression would mean that there are more than one independent variables. There are two, three or four independent variables and there is one dependent variable. Apart from the dissimilarities, there are three similarities in multiple and bivariate regression. A researcher's reasons for using multiple regression is the same as the reason for using bivariate regression. And it is prediction or explanation. Regression equation is involved in both of them. And both bivariate and multivariate regression almost always involve inferential tests. That is, you look for the R values, the correlation coefficient, the T statistics. Now let's do an example of correlation. Oh, sorry, regression. Now let's say we've got these four variables here. And I've got life satisfaction as my dependent variable and these could be my independent variables. Now here is the problem that I want to investigate. I want to investigate the impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction. Now based on this problem, I propose this hypothesis. There is a significant impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction. Now here are, uh, here is how you could report the results. But first let's run a bivariate regression and we'll run a multivariate regression as well. 
So in order to do this, you go to Analyze, Regression and Linear. Analyze, Regression and Linear. So what is my dependent variable? In this case, my dependent, dependent variable is life satisfaction. My independent variable is servant leadership. There are numbers of options, but we do not need those options for now. Let's press OK. And here are your results. Variables entered or removed. So you have entered servant leadership and your dependent variable is life satisfaction. So this gives you an overall summary of your regression analysis. Just have a review of this just to make sure that you have entered all the variables in the right place. Now model summary. So what does this tell us? Here is your R value which is the correlation between servant leadership and life satisfaction. R square, the square of R and this is your adjusted R square. So you will use this when you have got a higher number of cases and IV, IVs. In this case, let's use R square, which is 0.276. And if we change this into percentage, this would mean that 27.6% change in life satisfaction can be accounted by servant leadership. But is this R square significant? Is this impact or change significant? For this, you will have to go to ANOVA table. And look at this regression row here and look at this significance value. This is 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.001. So you will say that there is a significant impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction. Now, in this case, we have got only one independent variable. So your beta, standardized beta is similar to R here. And your T is 9.143, which is greater than 1.96. This means, obviously, there is a significant impact of servant leadership on life satisfaction. Now, how do we report these results? Just need to copy these from here and put it in a table like this, where your hypothesis, your regression weight, servant leadership is influencing life satisfaction, your beta coefficient, which is 0.579, you just copy it from here and put it in here. Your R square 0.276, your F statistics, where it is? Here it is, 83.599. Your P value, this is your P value. But what if you've got multiple independent variables? In this case, you can add another row here and just report the same values here. But obviously the F value would be the same because You've got one regression or one regression equation can have one R, uh, sorry, F value. But when you've got multiple independent variables, you will have to add another column here, which is T value. And you report the values from this table. Let's say we've got multiple independent variables. So we go to analyze, regression, linear. And let's add all these three variables here. Here are your three variables. Press OK and have a look at this. So your F value is has increased. Your R square has increased. So it's 0.581. So 58.1% change in life satisfaction can be accounted to these three variables. Which of these three variables are significant? Overall, the model is significant. But if you want to assess whether all of them, oh sorry, each one of them is significant, you have to get to coefficients table. And look at this standardized coefficient and unstandardized coefficient. We normally report the unstandardized coefficient in multiple regression. Here is your t value. Just copy this table and you can put these values in the table above to report your multiple regression. Let's see how it is reported for, let's say, bivariate uh, regression. And what you can do is later just copy these results and do for the other relationships as well for H2, H3, H4, H5, any number of hypotheses. The hypothesis tests if servant leadership carries a significant impact on life satisfaction. The dependent variable life satisfaction was reg regressed on Y on X, predicting variable servant leadership to test the hypothesis H1. Similarly, you can just copy and paste it and do it for the other variables as well. 
Servant leadership significantly predicted life satisfaction. F1219 and this comes from here in this case obviously it's 3 because you've got 3 predictors. And if in bivariate regression it was 1 and here it would have been 219. And here is your bivariate, uh, the F value from bivariate regression. The P which is which was 0 0.00 0 which was less than or which is rather less than 0 0.001. This indicates that servant leadership can play a significant role in shaping life satisfaction and then you report your beta value with the p-value from the coefficients table. The results clearly direct the positive effect of servant leadership. Moreover, the R-square which was 0.276 depicts that the model explains 27.6% change or variance in life satisfaction. And similarly, you can just copy and paste and do it for the other variables as well. I hope now you understand how to run, interpret and report regression analysis. Thank you.